Today, new benefits for students at Jaguars games, an update from student government, and a robot at UNF. That's all coming up right here on Spinnaker News. Hello Ospreys, I'm Annie Black and you're watching Spinnaker News on Spinnaker Television. It's all football season and UNF student government has worked with the Jacksonville Jaguars on securing tickets for UNF students at $30 a ticket. The tickets will be in section 228 through 230 and there are 500 available. Students who purchase season tickets at the pre-sale events also receive passes to the July 26 Jaguar Mega Event for the same seats as the season tickets. The Jaguars Mega Event features an international friendly match between DC United and Fulham FC soccer clubs, a Carrie Underwood concert, and the unveiling of new scoreboards at the stadium. Tickets this year are offered as season tickets for $210 or as regular game tickets for $30 each. The tickets are more than 50% off retail. SG is also giving away 100 tickets as promotion for preseason games. Speaking of SG, it has two new appointees. John Solar, political science senior, became an associate justice, and True Reigns, a political science sophomore, became the elections commissioner. Both were unanimously confirmed before July 7th Senate meeting. At the meeting, it was determined that a new shuttle stop will be made at the crossings that goes into campus. Currently, there is only an outgoing shuttle stop at the crossings that goes to Hicks Hall. An engineering student saved taxpayers $500,000 in Clay County after being appointed to fix the Unicorn, a robot built in the 1970s used by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Bomb Squad. The robot is currently owned by the Clay County SWAT team and was returned by the engineering department last Thursday. UNF engineering students Alejandro Lepervanche, Elizabeth Volkel, and Eric Rutherford started working on the robot for a few hours a day in mid-May. And it is time for weather with Miss Lindy. Let's see what she has to say. Hey Ospreys, I'm Lindy Fletcher here with your Spinnaker weather report. As of right now, it is partly cloudy and 79 degrees. There's a 40% chance of isolated thunderstorms that should appear in the later afternoon hours. Also, guys, you might want to make it a Mandel Monday to keep your feet from sweating because the high right now is 91 degrees for today. Now let's take a look at our current conditions and your seven-day forecast. Lindy, it's going to be a hot one today. <laughs> and Brandon's here with your sports update. Hey there, Ospreys. I'm Brandon Thigpen here with your Spinnaker Sports Report. First, Three Ospreys from the women's golf team were named All-American Scholars by the Women's Golf Coaches Association. Natalie Nygren, Emily Alpe, and Kelly Alwyn were selected for maintaining a minimum GPA of 3.5. Nationwide, a total of 664 women's collegiate golfers in Divisions 1, 2, and 3 were recognized for this prestigious honor. Next, the men's basketball team travels to Mexico this November to compete in the Men's Cancun Challenge Tournament, hosted by the Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya. The Ospreys will compete in the Mayan division against Liberty University, Elon University, and Morgan State. UNF head coach Matthew Driscoll said, It's always an honor to travel with our guys while having the opportunity to play a high-level tournament. The Ospreys haven't returned to this tournament since 2010 when they were crowned Mayan division champions. Well, that's it for sports this week. Now let's toss it back to Annie at the desk. Thanks, Brandon. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for you today on Spinnaker News. But for more stories reported today and other stories, you can check out unfspinnaker.com. You can also like the Spinnaker on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And you can follow us on Twitter at unfspinnaker. For Lindy Fletcher and Brandon Thigpen, I'm Annie Black. Have a great day, Ospreys.